My great-grandfather George was a rancher here in Shasta County and they used to run cattle on this ranch on both sides of Cow Creek. And when they'd push the cattle across the creek, there are times when this creek here would be so filled with salmon that the horses, when they'd get close to the water, they would be spooked and they wouldn't want to cross because the, the stream was just alive with fish. And that just blows my mind. That's something that I really hope that someday we can get back to. When you hear the stories that our ancestors used to tell about this valley, you think, how do we get back to that? How do we have these healthy salmon populations return? The answer, it lies with the people who make this valley their home. And Sacramento River Settlement Contractors, we want to be part of that solution. The Sacramento River Settlement Contractors are 138 various water users. From Redding to Sacramento, it includes cities, farmers, and ranchers. This is a really unique area, not only for agriculture, but also the environment. We want to create solutions for future generations. We want to preserve what we can while still being able to utilize and feed not only our community, but feed the world. We think it's important for the holistic approach where we look at multi-species. And we understand what happens here to salmon has an effect on what's happening downstream to our communities. So in order to have robust fish, robust wildlife, and robust communities, we have to keep looking up and down the valley. So the problems that we're facing right now are not just one thing. There's a variety of problems. And so for us to solve said problems, you need to have a variety of solutions. So whether it be temperature in the river, whether it be spawning gravel, or additional habitat in stream, We've got to look at all these different things that come together. You're looking at the entire ecosystem here. We hope to see from all of these projects really a robust salmon population. By having more spawning ground, in theory, that's going to create more juvenile salmon. As they move through the system, we're giving them their refugia to get away from predators, so their numbers stay up as they keep moving down the system positive things can happen when the fish agencies and the environmental NGOs work together. There's just so many opportunities for things that we can do to help. Groups of people who normally wouldn't be aligned have joined together. And what we've seen is those alignments have created opportunities for wildlife to thrive. We're bringing together farmers, ranchers, water users, state and federal agencies and conservation groups to really solve a problem. If you fight, you dig in your heels, the only people to get paid and the only people to benefit are lawyers, right? So it's pretty obvious now that the fix rather than the fight is the approach and we need to look for solutions. Collaboration is never easy. Stakeholders have different ideas that they've brought to the table but we've been able to build a lot of success through our projects, and that success is compounding and building more success. Now it's time to double down and push harder on everything that we've built to continue this momentum. It's really important that we bring in more partners because the more partners that we have, we have more resources and more expertise. Ultimately, when we look at the future, we really hope that the solutions that we're looking into are successful. Not only do we care about the watershed and the environment, we're the ones putting food on your table. It's great to see products that are produced in the Sacramento River watershed because they're coming from an area of some of the best environmental ethics that you'll see in agriculture worldwide. And I'm proud to be a part of that.